Have you ever noticed an actor play more than one role in the same series? Well, Power Rangers does that all the time. And in order for me to share with you this clip that I absolutely love, I first need to make sure that you're aware Power Rangers has had a 30-year relationship with a show called Super Sentai. From day one, the plan for making Power Rangers is we purchase the footage from a pre-existing superhero show, reshoot all the stuff where they're not in costume with our own actors and plot lines, and reuse the action sequences where their faces are covered by a helmet so you can't tell it's a different person, and thus you save tons of money on filming action sequences. And it was a smash hit. But this relationship has gone on for so long that it started to fold in on itself and Super Sentai started to put references to Power Rangers in their original material as little meta jokes for the audience. So in 2015, when Power Rangers was filming for their season Dino Charge, Super Sentai was filming for their season Knee Ninja. And the actor Yoshi Sudarso, who played the Blue Ranger Koda in Dino Charge, actually got to cameo in Knee Ninja as a civilian that the Rangers saved from a monster. Here's the clip. Somebody help me! Get away! Okay, thank you! For his cameo, they have Yoshi interact with the Blue Ranger, obviously because it's a reference to the fact that he plays the Blue Ranger in the American version. However, Yoshi Sudarso has a brother named Peter, who, in the next season of Power Rangers, would go on to play the Blue Ranger, and that season adapted Knee Ninja, which means that the onion just keeps folding in on itself. In this clip, it looks like Yoshi's being saved by his brother. The fact that it just keeps getting better, I love this so much, but I'm really disappointed because they could have used this footage in Power Rangers Ninja Steel and just dubbed the original Japanese actor with Peter Sudarso's voice and kept Yoshi's original dialogue because he's speaking in English anyway and then he would have cameoed in Super Sentai which would have been a cameo in Power Rangers and it would have been amazing. And I enjoyed watching this clip so much that it made me want to compile a list of actors who have played more than one role in Power Rangers because it's fun to think about. Note, I was looking for some of the less well-known ones so that it would be exciting new information for people, so I have not included that Jason David Frank played Tommy Oliver in five different seasons, five different series, eight seasons, and a mini-series. And of course that Kelson Henderson has played like 16 characters. SPD's tech whiz Cat Manx reappears in Jungle Fury as one of the Spirit Masters. John Tui not only plays Daggeron, but also appears as the voice and suit actor for Doggy Kruger. The quirky record store owner from Mystic Force is also the restaurant owning informant from SPD. Levi Weston's super fan is also a Grid Battle Force officer judged too harshly for letting an evil puppet through security. Speaking of Ninja Steel's Levi Weston, Aiden Romero appears in Beast Morphers to bully a kid with a trombone. But that's not the biggest character change I've seen because the psycho Yellow Ranger from Power Rangers in Space appears as the mermaid princess in Lightspeed Rescue. We loved Mara from Ninja Storm so much we had to have her in the next season as Dino Thunder's budding reporter and school bully. Cole Evans wasn't badass enough as just the Wild Force Red Ranger. He also had to appear in Samurai as Decker. My brain cannot quantify that these are the same person, but let's just assume the internet is telling me the truth when it says the future ranger from SPD and the tree-hugging activist from Dino Thunder are the same actress as the lovable side character and moon wizard from Mystic Force. I got it. I think it's hard for me when they change their hair color because, like, even right next to each other. This is two different people. But I mean, great fucking work, Holly Shanahan. The alien sixth ranger in Operation Overdrive is Ethan's bully in Dino Thunder. A simple car mechanic in Ninja Steel goes on to become the Void Knight. This one might be my favorite because Thor in Operation Overdrive is the dad in Ninja Steel. No, I lied, this is my favorite. The exploding future fiance from Time Force is Wes Collins. And this last one is not even a joke. Like it would be a really good joke, but I'm actually serious and I thought that it was my mild face blindness, but then when I made a video about it previously, there were like 50 people in the comments who were like, what? So, should be a joke, isn't a joke, do not come at me, okay? People have facial recognition issues. Get out from behind my shit, you little fucker. 
Ulysses, I will shut you in the bathroom. I love you. Go away. Footage from a pre-existing... Fuck you guys. <clears throat> okay. Dude, you're cute. You're so cute. You're so happy and I don't like you. <clears throat> I'm going to do that one more time and it's going to be better and I'm not going to have that little pause where you can see the space between my eyes.